Andrew Tate is one of the most infamous figures on the internet right now, largely because of his car collection that is said to be worth $10 million. Does he really have that many cars, and why did they get him in so much trouble? Seeing as he's worth $350 million, you just know we gotta start with the over-the-top rides anyone worth that much money simply has to drive. By far his finest ride is his Bugatti Chiron Pure Sport. This is one of the nicest cars money could buy with a top speed of 304 miles per hour. Even more impressive than that is its design, which is a perfect cross between a luxury ride and a freaking race car. No wonder this thing costs upwards of $5.2 million. Andrew Tate drove his orange Bugatti like Dominic Toretto drives his Dodge Charger. He even went so far as to buy the matching Bugatti watch. That alone set him back another $450,000. So he has to be pretty crushed given what horrible fate recently befell this work of art. Don't worry, we'll get to that soon. This is only the beginning though. Tate has said many times that he has over 33 supercars in his collection. Obviously, Andrew Tate is the kind of guy who owns multiple Ferraris. Look at this man's attitude. There's no way one would be enough. That includes his gorgeous Ferrari 812 Superfast. Superfast is right too, with a top speed of 211 miles per hour. Sure, that's not Bugatti Chiron fast, but it's still well worth that $365,000. Then we've got his Ferrari 458 Italia, which can also hit a pretty intense 202 miles per hour. This one also set him back $248,000. Aside from Bugatti and Ferrari, one of his other favorite brands is McLaren. He's got a McLaren 720S worth $400,000 and his McLaren 765LT worth $382,000. Though looking at his pictures, I'm not sure that he's ever actually driven either, but just posed against them. According to his own words, he said, You think I have 33 supercars because I really like driving? No, I got these supercars just so everyone knows who the Don is. I'm the top G, don't forget it. So yeah, these may have never been driven once. Andrew Tate is a huge James Bond fan, a fact I doubt you'll find surprising. So of course he would have at least one Aston Martin in his collection. He's got an Aston Martin DB11, which can hit 192 miles per hour. It also costs him around $240,000. Not only is he a big Bond fan, but he and his fans have often taken to saying that he is actually James Bond. So what do you want to bet that this car actually has machine guns under the headlights? There's also just one car I knew that Tate had to have in his collection. That would be his $380,000 Rolls-Royce Wraith. With a one-of-a-kind luxury look and a smooth ride that only hits 155 miles per hour, it's no surprise that this is one of the most popular rides on this channel. Okay, so we've crossed off Bugatti, Rolls-Royce, Ferrari, McLaren, and Aston Martin. What's left? Oh yeah, he's gotta have a Lambo, right? The man has a Lamborghini Huracan Evo Spider, one of my personal favorites the legendary brand has ever constructed. This car can hit 202 miles per hour and is more than worth its $230,000. Rounding out the rest of his high-priced rides are his BMW M5 Competition worth $103,000, his Mercedes B63 Brabus worth $250,000, his Mercedes Maybach V-Class worth $150,000, his Porsche GT Street worth $316,000, and his Bentley Continental GT that's worth $250,000. You know we're talking about an epic car collection when these are the boring rides. Assuming he's been allowed to keep any of them, that is. So in case you missed the single most shared argument of 2023 so far, Tate picked a fight with 19-year-old climate activist Greta Thunberg over just how many cars he had that burned heavy fossil fuels. The two traded jabs and Tate eventually posted a response video, one that led to him getting arrested. He was wanted in Romania and supposedly the pizza box in the video proved he was in the country since that brand could only have been purchased in Romania itself. Naturally, since Tate is such an explosive figure, the internet had a field day. While Tate was eventually released pending a trial for crimes so serious I can't really talk about them on YouTube without getting demonetized, what really had to hurt him was the seizing of many of his finest cars by the Romanian police. In fact, nearly a dozen cars were reportedly raided. Those include his Rolls-Royce Wraith, Aston Martin Vanquish S Ultimate, a Porsche Carrera 4S, and several of his Ferraris. It also included, you guessed it, his $2.9 million Bugatti Chiron. That poor Bugatti, locked up and scared with no one around to drive it. 
Andrew Tate and his brother are both fighting the charges leveled against them, including what they believe are the unlawful seizures of their luxury cars. Unfortunately, I don't think that Tate's defense that he was arrested by agents from the Matrix is going to hold up in court. Andrew Tate's troubles are only mounting, so chances are this might be as good as his car collection ever gets.